welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a current beauty favorites. I haven't done this in a while. I don't do my monthly favorites only because I don't dive into so much makeup. I mean, I can't afford to be trying new makeup every single month for you guys. So I just do it like current favorites. I haven't done one in a year. I looked through my videos and I realized I hadn't done one in a whole entire year for you guys. So I figured I would just sit down talk to you guys about what I'm using lately and yeah um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and yeah let's just get started it's pretty hot in here so if you guys see that I'm sweating it's because it's pretty hot and I don't want to have my AC on because then it'll be really really loud but it does say it's about almost 80 degrees in here so I'm gonna kind of just go through this a little quickly just so I'm not melting so let's get started. So the first thing I really want to talk about is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. Now this is probably the only primer I have been using for the last few months. I picked this up at iMats in January. And I haven't bought any other primers since then. This is all I've been using and it's lasted me so long. And I feel like I still have a lot of product in it. A lot of this goes a long way and it just gives me like such a nice silk canvas. Like my face... It's pretty, pretty soft after I apply this. It really, really helps keep my foundation on pretty much almost all day long. So this has definitely been my favorite foundation so far. My favorite foundation. My favorite primer. Like I said, it's the only one I've been using for months. Now, I only have one foundation that I have really been loving. And that would be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Now, I... Tried this foundation out when it first came out and I fell in love with it immediately. But because of so many other foundations coming out and me wanting to try so many different foundations, I kind of forgot how much I really, really loved and enjoyed this foundation. And I recently started using it again and of course I fell in love again. It's such, I have it on today. I feel like it's such a great foundation. It leaves my face, it dries down to a matte finish. But it doesn't look completely matte or drying on the face, which is what I love. I still have that youthful look, that glowy look to the skin. So that's definitely why I have been loving this foundation. I definitely have to go and pick up some more because I can already feel that I am running out. And I feel like the shade I have right now is just a little light for my actual skin tone. But... I have been enjoying it. The next product is a concealer. Now this is, like I said, most of these products are the only products I am using currently. I do have other products in my makeup collection, but I don't gravitate towards them as much as I do these products. And my favorite concealer, which has been ever since it came out, is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And you can tell it has been used, beat up. It's just all over the place. And I am running out, so I do have to go pick up one of these as well. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is full coverage, which is what I love. That is another reason why I love the Born This, Born this Way Foundation. It is full coverage, and you know your girl loves her full coverage look. Full coverage concealer, full coverage foundation. Everything has to be full coverage. So these two paired up actually make a really really great combination and I love that about them yeah, so this is a really great foundation I do great concealer sorry this I use it in the shade light medium but there are times where I feel like I want to try a lighter one only because I feel like these two are very very similar in the shade range so I feel like it doesn't brighten up my under eye as much as I would like it to so I definitely do want to pick up probably just a shade lighter of this for those days where I want that brighter under eye. The next product is a sponge. Now it is hella dirty because I just use it to do my makeup. But this is the Sonia Kasha sponge. These are incredible you guys. And the price is beyond. I got two for $10. I honestly like these a lot better than I like the beauty blenders. I've never really been a huge fan of the beauty blenders to be 100% honest with you, I do use them on occasion. I have the black ones that I got back in January as well in, at IMATS. But I have always tend to gravitate towards the... Now, I really love this one, but I also have the Real Technique sponge, which is incredible as well. 
I recently got the face and body sponge from Real Techniques and it works really, really great. I love it. But these are just incredible and the price is amazing. They blend out really well. They don't soak up too much product, which I like because when I'm doing my foundation, of course, I don't want it to soak up that much product because I want that product to stay on my face to cover everything. So I have really been enjoying these. The next product is a translucent powder and of course it is a Laura Mercier powder. I feel like this is the only powder I've been able to find ever since I... I used to love the NYC translucent powder but I can't find that anywhere anymore. I'm not sure if they discontinued it or what happened but I can't find it anywhere anymore. And that used to be by far my favorite translucent powder so I did have to dip in and Look into other translucent powders. I have tried a few other ones. I tried the RCMA No Color Powder. And I just felt like it left my under eyes too white. And I didn't really like that. This one, it kind of just blends into my skin. And I really love it. And it really helps set my under eye. Before, my under eyes used to crease so much. No matter how much powder I would put on. With the RCMA No Color Powder or the NYC one. But I still liked the NYC just because it didn't crease as much. But this one really, really cancels that out. Like, I barely ever crease under my eyes anymore, which I really enjoy. Because I used to hate when my eyes would, like, my makeup would crease under my eyes. Because it would just look crusty and disgusting. To the point where, like, I would just want to wipe off my makeup no matter where I was. But with this one, it lasts so much longer. And honestly, like... It's so finely milled. It's so finely milled that it's just like it legit like melts into your skin. Like it just melts into your skin. So I have really, really been enjoying this one. It is pricey, but I think it's worth the investment. Okay, so the next product is a bronzer, and it's been the only bronzer I have been using since I bought it at IMAT. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Powder bronzer in rich amber as you can tell it's doesn't even look like I've used a lot which is pretty good because it means there is a ton of product I have used this legit almost every single day and I just love it blends out really easily the color isn't too orange nor is it like too cool tone for my skin tone it's like the legit perfect color for my skin and I love it and it blends out really really easily as you can tell I just I get so many compliments when I wear this bronzer I have so many girls asking me what bronzer are you wearing it looks really good on you and it's the Anastasia ones and honestly like it is a little pricey it is 28 bucks but for the price honestly it's a good investment and when I tried it out at IMATS I immediately knew it was gonna be a good bronzer so I was like you know what screw it I'm gonna go for it and honestly, I am happy I did. So, the next one is a blush. Now, I'm not too big on blush, and you can't really tell that I wear it, because I barely ever wear any. But I have been enjoying these, this Tarte, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Brush Blush <laughs> in Seduce. And it's like this really pale pink. It's really, really pretty, and it comes off like really, really pale. So, it doesn't look like too much. It's like the perfect amount of blush, honestly. And it just gives me that tiny hint of rosy, like a rosy color on my cheeks. Because I don't like, like I said, I don't really go for blush often. But when I do, it is this one. And it's just not overpowering. And that's what I like about this one. So for highlights, I do have three favorite highlights, but I can't find my other one. The first one is the Amrezy and Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight. Which, honestly, I have no idea where it's at right now. But that is, like, my number one highlight so far for this year. I have used it a ton. Like, if I were to show you, you would see that I use it a lot. You would see that I use that one a lot if you go back into, like, my previous videos or in my pictures on Instagram. That is a highlight that I mostly wear. But I have been enjoying the Jouer Train. I don't know how you say it powder the only thing is i feel like these are really really powdery i don't know if it, maybe because they're so compact into this little tiny thing but it's super super powdery like i don't know if you can tell but they're super super powdery but they do deliver like a really nice glowing highlight i have that on today but i also on top i also have the 
Dose of Colors and I Love Sari collection in Soulmate. Now this is another highlight that has a lot of fallout. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see all the powder around the packaging. But I really, really like this highlight as well. It's very, very pretty. And it just, it melts into your skin and it makes it look like it is, like, just like a natural glow. Right now, like, I have so much texture on my face and I honestly don't know why. But either way, like, it just makes it look really, really natural and really glowy. And I just, I live for that glow, especially during the summer season, even though we're almost done with the summer season. So the next products are eyebrow products. And I have two eyebrow products and they are from Anastasia. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. I really really like this when I want a more of a dramatic eyebrow, more of a more defined eyebrow when I'm doing like those more glam looks. I used to use it almost every single day even when I had like a natural looking makeup look and it started becoming to the point where I'm just like I felt like it was just too much. Like, I wanted to go for that natural makeup look, but then my eyebrows were hella harsh. So I was like, okay, I really gotta figure out another way to do my brows when I'm doing a more natural look. So I do like the dip brow when I'm doing more of a dramatic look, and I want that bold eyebrow. But um, today I actually used the brow palette. Oh. And I used the shade Granite. I just feel like it looks better now that i dyed my hair black again. I used Granite. Now, keep in mind... My brows aren't perfect. I always had a difficult time using brow shadow. Like, the brow product, like a brow shadow for my eyes. That's why I always used the dip brow, because I always felt like I was able to do my brows a lot easier with the dip brow. But I've been practicing a lot more with, with my whole entire makeup in general. But I've been practicing a lot on my brows because if you guys look at my older, older videos, like you would tell like I never really did my brows. Like I would just leave them the way they were. But I've definitely been loving this palette. Now this is such a great palette to have. Even if you're like, like when you do freelance, this is a perfect palette. That way you're not carrying too many products around. But I really, really love this because if I change my hair, I'll have a shade that will fit me. So I really, really love this palette. I've, you can tell, like, I've kind of used it a lot already, especially this one. Granite has always been my go-to shade, especially because my hair has always really been dark. So the next thing is an eyeshadow palette. Now this recently came out, but it has become my favorite so far, especially when I'm traveling. This is the I Love Saturday and Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. Now it is very, um, not plain, but it's very simple, but there's a lot you can do with this palette. Like there's a lot of metallics, oh, I just dug my finger in there, and they're very, very pigmented. That's what I have on my eyes today. I mix these two and then I put this in all over my lid. And then in the inner corner I have this light one. I really, really like this palette. I feel like Dose of Colors has definitely upped their, has definitely upped their eyeshadow game. I've had a few of their other palettes, and having the Hidden Treasure one was a pretty good palette. The Ice Cream palette, honestly, I never really played with it. Just played with it for a little bit, and I was just not really into it. So I kind of just put that to the side. So I'm definitely impressed with the quality of the eyeshadows from Dose of Colors. And then my other palette that you can tell I use a lot because it's all beat up is my Jaclyn Hill palette. Now this palette has really, really been used as you can tell. I enjoy this palette. This is a palette I usually travel with when I go out of state, when I go to Vegas to meet my family or when I'm going like just... I, we tend to stay at hotels often now for just for fun. We like to just get away for the weekend and go to hotels and just hang out and we'll go to the bar, we'll go to the club and this is the palette I always take with me it's just such a verse. it's such a versatile palette like there's so much you can do with this palette and I definitely should be doing more tutorials with this palette because I know there's so much I can do 
There is one look I specifically I've been wanting to do <clears throat> with this palette, but I haven't had the time because it's a little more time consuming because it's more out of my comfort zone, so it's going to take me a lot longer to film it. But I've definitely been liking that palette. The next things are eye product. Or, well, one eye product. This is the NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner. This is the only eyeliner I ever use. I have never... I've tried a few other liners and they just don't work out for me. They're either too hard to work with, they don't apply well, or they're too patchy, or they're not black enough. This one dries down matte and it stays pretty black and I really, really enjoy that. Oh, I've only been <laughs> legit the last maybe two, three weeks, I have only been using four lip products. Four. And that is it. So, <laughs> and these are all from the Isla Sarai and Dosa Colors Liquid Lipstick from the collab. So, by far, my favorite liquid lipstick is Peachy, which is this one right here. I really, really enjoy this color. I don't know why, I just do. It's such a perfect summer color. And then I usually, on top of that, I put on Barely There. Oh, no, no, sorry. I put on Brio on top of that just because I don't want to take away too much from the actual color because it is a really pretty color. And then I put Brio on top. I'm not going to do it now because it's not dry, but Brio is such a gorgeous lip gloss. It just has, like, that perfect amount of, like, glitter in it. Like, that shine. It has a perfect amount of shine, which I really enjoy. And on top of Peachy, it just looks beyond gorgeous. Now, right now, I have Nude Chica and Brio. But usually, I put Barely There on top of Nude Chica. Just because this one's more of a nude like a nude pinky tone and then on top of that I put on barely there I'm so into glossy lips lately I don't know if you can tell but I am I live for a glossy lip now I don't I'm not a huge fan of matte lips right now I think maybe because of the summer by fall maybe I'll be into it again but I'm just into that glossy wet look lately and this is like the perfect nude lip gloss this reminds me of the Anastasia lip glosses where they're so pigmented where they're so pigmented that you don't even need to have like an under color like an they're so pigmented to the point where you don't need to have like another lipstick under it for it to show up so that's what I really really like about that so those are the four lip, like lip products I have been using lately right now I'm wearing the Time Los Angeles I don't even know which ones these are. Oh, Time Los Angeles and Ghost. I really, really enjoy these. There's like the little one. These are the ones I have on right now. I have legit have worn these maybe 15 times already. And they still, they still look like pretty new. And I really, really enjoy that. Like, of course, I clean them. I clean the glue off of them. But I have really been enjoying these lashes. So, yeah, I mean, I don't have that many products this time, you guys. Just because I've been really... I haven't been spending my money on products. I just threw my son a birthday party and that was pretty pricey. I've been traveling. I've been up and down with my new boyfriend. So I haven't really been spending my money on makeup. Just because I've been wanting to do other things. And I have so much makeup to go through, you guys. I've been doing my decluttering series. And I've realized I have a lot of makeup that I haven't played with. So I figured I would just play with that and not spend any money on makeup. <laughs> Except the brush collection that I got from Morphe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!